Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and I create videos on absolutely everything coloured pencil related. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2019 art goals. It was going to be part of the 2018 recap but it got too long so I'm splitting it into two. So today's video is 2019 art goals but before we get into those art goals I want to share something really really special with you guys and that is the fact that I have decided to create a separate channel to this one which is related solely to the business and creative personal life aspect of being a creative and being a sort of YouTuber, I don't know. So I have created a whole new channel which will be launching on January 1st and I will be uploading sort of personal life vlogs, art business related vlogs so you can expect to see sort of studio life, being a mum, dealing with animals and just day to day life and running of a business because I know I get so many questions from you guys asking about that aspect of my life and aspect of business so I'll be sharing tips, organisational skills and all that kind of thing on my new vlog channel. The link is in the description if you want to check it out and hit that subscribe button to help that channel grow and develop. Um, there is no sort of schedule for that channel, I will just be uploading videos as and when I have them. My life isn't too interesting if I'm honest and I don't do an awful lot so it will just be a little bit of fun videos here and there whenever I do do something special or if I have anything businessy related to share with you guys. So just wanted to share that with you guys first because I'm really excited about that. I love blogging, I used to have it on this channel all the time, like once a week and then I sort of got rid of it as I moved into more coloured pencils and I wanted to bring it back but I've decided to keep it to a separate channel just to keep this channel purely coloured pencil related. So. Now that that is out of the way, let's get into those 2019 art goals and uh, see what I'm going to be achieving in the coming year. My art goals are number one, to create more pieces and I've put 60 maybe. And this might sound like a lot, but I really want to expand on the number of pieces that I've done. Not necessarily creating big pieces like I've done throughout this year, but creating smaller pieces smaller studies like I did with the horse eye study and the crocodile eye study, that kind of size pieces. So I want to make my focus to create 60 and I know I can do this one. I know I can do it if I schedule myself properly and yeah, put myself forward enough. So that's my first goal. My second goal is to incorporate more backgrounds and I've put down three pieces with a full background so not just a little bit of background like I've done with the polar bear full background the whole piece covered with a background and I haven't stated whether these need to be big pieces or small pieces because I don't want to commit myself to doing three really large scale pieces with a large background so these could be small pieces and I'd still meet this goal so I've made this goal manageable by not limiting it to a size the next goal is to develop more cohesive pieces so as I mentioned with the polar bear I want to create things with a little bit more context and make it a little bit cohesive so as you can see behind me I've got pieces that have a lot of white background and this kind of ties in with the goal of doing full backgrounds but I want to make sure that my subjects have a little bit of habitat and have a little bit of context and that they're the piece is cohesive as a whole, so that is that goal. The next one is to work on more interesting compositions. This is something I know I really need to work on and that is my compositional skills. It's something that I have always struggled with. I'm working on a piece at the moment actually for a new collection of pieces for March and I have actually chopped a few photos up and merged them together to create a really visually interesting composition. So I'm already working towards this goal and to add along two more interesting compositions I've put multiple subjects. So usually I only do one subject like the butterfly piece as you can see behind me. I could have made that a whole lot more interesting by creating a, uh, adding in a whole horde of butterflies flowers and all that in the background I can see that now that I could have made that so much better so that's what I want to work on mainly 
To go along with this goal of the compositions, I want to use my sketchbook more. I already use my sketchbook, but I don't use it enough. And I feel like that if I used my sketchbook, I could improve those compositions. So I could create thumbnails of different things um, and still sort of move things around and see how they look. So having the use of a sketchbook is going to help me improve those compositional skills and all of that kind of stuff. So I definitely need to do that. I have made my own sketchbook as well, which I haven't even used. I think I made the sketchbook back in October. I haven't even touched it. I haven't even touched my sketchbook at all, the one up there since October. So I definitely need to use my sketchbook more. That's one of my main primary goals. My next goal is to take time off and work and paint for me. I am really, really bad at taking time off from work, mainly because I love what I do so much that when I sit down of an evening, my husband has to sort of really pressure me into putting my phone away and to stop thinking about work and art. And I don't have very much of a wind down time. So I really want to take a couple of hours out of the week and just paint and draw and work on something for me. Not necessarily for a print collection or a tutorial. I want to draw and create something for me that I'm going to enjoy and that I actually really want to work on. And I feel like that's gonna be really important for my mental health and to keep me fresh throughout the year. So that's a really, really important goal for me. That's one that I'm actually gonna write down and I'm gonna pin on my notice board, which is behind you guys. I'm gonna pin it there so that I can remember and remind myself daily that that is what I need to do because I feel like that is really important. One, to avoid burnout and two, just you need that time off. I need that time off from business and working. So hopefully I can stick to that one if I don't stick to any of the others. My last goal for 2019 is to create more mixed media pieces. Now this could go hand in hand with all of my other goals, especially the background ones, because I want to use pan pastels and watercolors and markers to create the backgrounds of my pieces. So not necessarily creating a whole colored pencil piece and having that colored pencil background and everything like that. I can use mixed media, so pan pastels and markers to create the backgrounds for my coloured pencil subjects. And not necessarily just creating the subjects in coloured pencil, but using a watercolour underbase or a marker underbase and then adding the coloured pencil on top. That's something that I really want to work on and something I want to explore just to see if I can create pieces faster. Maybe I might find a technique which is really, really good to use with coloured pencil, like I found this year with the using the Faber-Castell black pit pen on top of your dark areas and then blending it out with a coloured pencil. That is what I found a really good technique to use for developing contrast and dark areas. I'd been really, really scared to do that in the past, but now I incorporate that into most of my drawings because it's a really fast, really good way at creating contrast and getting the areas dark. So I want to work on creating pieces that do incorporate different medias because before I used to feel like it was cheating, like I'm cheating on my coloured pencils by using some other medium, like is that okay? But it totally is okay and it's not something that I should shy away from. If something's gonna create a better result or create something faster for me, then I'm all for it. So that is my last goal for 2019. That's the goal setting. Let's see if I can stick to some of these 2019 art goals because I didn't really make a cohesive, like a valid list of 2018 art goals at the beginning of the year. Not necessarily art goals. I made business goals and personal goals, but I didn't make art related goals like this. So I sort of made my own 2018 art goals up as the year went on and just sort of like, yep, that's a goal that'll do. <laughs> I've done that. But this year I've actually, I, want, I wanted to set out these goals and I wanted to see how many of them I can actually reach. So 
This is going to be a really interesting sort of social experiment for me throughout the year and it's something that's going to also keep me accountable. I would definitely encourage you guys to set some 2019 art goals and let me know below in the comments if you have any art goals that you want to share with everyone else. Pop your art goals below if you already have set them as well because you might inspire me to add to my list. I'm going to add to this list as the year goes on, as I think of goals that I want to achieve. It's not like a concrete list, it's something that's going to grow and expand with me throughout the year. So I'm actually going to print these out or just um, make some nice typography or something and pin them to my board so that I can remember my goals throughout the year and so it helps inspire me. So that's pretty much it for my 2019 art goals and for this video. There's not too much to recap from 2018. As I said, I didn't set like a solid list of goals. It just sort of developed with me as we went. The only real concrete goal was a business goal, which was YouTube. My goal was to reach 3000 subscribers and I absolutely smashed it out of the park by reaching over 7000 subscribers. So. That was my only sort of solid goal that I would want to share with you guys. My other goals were just purely business and sales related, so they're not even relevant. I didn't even set like solid art goals, so. I really can't wait to see what you guys create in 2019. I'm really, really excited about this year to come. I've got some fantastic pieces lined up and I'm really excited to share them all with you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new around here and you want to see loads of great content for 2019, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tick that bell icon as well to be notified of all of my future videos as soon as they're released. And I will see you guys in 2019. Bye.